We are. We're live. We are live. We're live. Good morning, team. Good afternoon, actually. Thank you so much to everybody that has held off for the hour. We are rolling with the punches today. Unfortunately, there was just a little issue trying to get into the building today. So tell the people what happened. Let's just let's let's <laughs> break it down. Somebody, somebody vandalized the door. So we're in a new studio space, obviously. Somebody vandalized the door, and because there's a key code on the door, we couldn't actually press the key code, so we couldn't get in. We had to wait for the landlord to come bring us the key. So it was a whole debacle. But our number one goal was not to stress out, not to panic, just to roll with the punches. There was literally nothing we could do to change the situation at the door. So unless Mike and I wanted to crawl up three <laughs> stories and hop into a window, we were not getting in not today. Not happening. But we are here. So we're going to go through a start level workout today. We are going to get our heart rate up a little bit. We're going to get our sweat on a little bit. This is going to be a cardio style um, start level workout. And if you're not familiar, start level is our very, very beginner level workout. It is what we call true beginner level. Um, it was designed because as we looked at the fitness world and what was happening out there with workouts, I didn't necessarily think that beginner level was meeting people where they're at. If you were just starting out on your movement journey, if you had never, ever moved before, and if you were possibly dealing with pain and injury, I wanted to create a level that really met you where you're at. So with the start level, you will always have, unless we're doing some core work on the floor, we'll always basically have a chair so that we have access to some, something helping us stabilize. So grab a chair if you haven't already, make sure that you test it out, it is nice and sturdy. Um, another little thing about start level, we do not get up and down. So if for say we have a core workout that's on the ground, we're on the ground the entire workout. Um, today we'll be standing up the whole time. And if we do get down at any point in time, we actually get down on the chair. That's why we have it here. What are some other things about, I think let's let people kind of continue to roll in and awesome. we'll take a quick photo for the thumbnail. Cool. Do that real quick. Hello, Natasha. Good morning, team. I appreciate people being flexible. So we are going to be doing, so today we're going to be doing like a star open. We have burpees, fun little burpees on the chair. Um, we also have rope slams. So we'll be doing alternating rope slams, circular rope slams. Do you want me to actually slam or do you want me to hold one? I also can do double hands. <clears throat> a little behind the scenes action real quick team. We're just going to take our thumbnail pic and then we will get to it. Cheryl, I'm assuming this is Cheryl Curran. Oh my gosh. Cheryl, is this you? This is so fun. We're getting so many of my old clients. I didn't want to call them clients, friends in here. So in this motion, um, first of all, we'll be stepping up. Second, we'll be jumping and reaching up. And then maybe let's just get you like um, just one foot up. <laughs> awesome okay good morning team good morning team come on in so if you are not familiar with our start level workouts we're going to be doing uh well we're doing a start level workout we're doing a cardio style workout and you will need a chair so make sure that you just pause for one second go grab a chair test it out make sure that it is nice and sturdy and then today's workout will start in, are we going to start in like one minute, Mike? Yeah. Let's do, who's the old juicer? Is that, is the old juicer your dad? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Is he juicing? It's totally my dad. Is dad juicing and getting some start because workouts in? You see, and people call him juicy. Uh, <laughs> wow. Dad, what I'm up, dad? so proud of you. 
Team, this is a very exciting moment. My dad is officially in week two of doing our Start Moving program. And I didn't even have to convince him to come do our lives. He has been hopefully enjoying them. Dad, we're so happy you're here. I'm so happy. This is really exciting. That's cool. Also, my dad did call. This is so great. So I learned a little, like, had to learn a little bit about explaining better because it's so helpful being able to talk to my family member, my friends about doing these workouts and making sure that I'm explaining them. So I did want to ask if there's anything that goes on in these workouts, we do read the comment section. We, after these workouts are done, we pay attention to what's happening there. So if you have questions, concerns, maybe about the workout, about the start level, about anything that has to do with what's happening here, please leave them in the comment section because it is so helpful for me as the coach and then for the team to like make adjustments. Um, I'm still remembering like the one move that my dad wanted more explanation on. And it's so helpful for me to get that feedback because ultimately we're here. I'm here coaching for you guys and I want you to have the best experience. So what was that move? Oh, it Maybe was the lateral felt lunge. The same. Okay. So, and this was so my, I mean, shout out to dad. He was so correct. Just at this angle, it was hard to see what was happening. And for my dad, this is the first time he was doing that move. And so now I totally understand. I want to be able to give you all a different perspective of what's happening. So it was hinging at the hip, just making sure that I was in this nice hinge position. It's hard to see from straight on. So mm -hmm. these are all, I think sometimes people can be like, I'm not going to criticize this. Th that feedback is so important because it offers you all a better experience. And ultimately at the end of the day, I want you to have the best experience possible as you come in here and as you head out in the world and you move. And that means me explaining things better, changing things up. So just as a long-winded way of saying, if you have any questions, comments, anything, leave them in the comment section. We go back, we look at all of that. And just to be clear for that, that lateral lunge, you want the hips to be going back. back. Exactly. Yeah. So in the lateral lunge, what was going on is I wanted my dad, I wanted all of us to hinge in that lateral lunge. And when I was straight forward, I think it was hard for him to see, like, was my knee coming yeah. forward? Where were my hips? And so it can just, look like a squat. It can look like a squat and yeah. totally note to self, like be able to explain things at all different angles as we're going through these. So small little example, but so, so helpful. And that's um, a tricky move. Like, honestly, like move. I didn't understand that until not that long ago where I was like, oh, it's really this big hinge, hinge. where, yeah. Totally. It, it is tricky. And that's the thing. It's also why I love start level so much is because when you think about movement and exercise, it can seem so complicated because it is, but it's all variations of a very few handful of moves. It's all variations about six moves. And so when we learn how to do them properly, we build up that strong foundation and we understand them. Keyword, we understand them. We understand what they feel like in our body. Then you can go out and do anything you want to do. So my goal, especially with this start level, is that you actually understand how things should feel in your body. So please, 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 I'm just going to reiterate one more time. Please ask questions, leave comments. We will get to them. It helps me so much when I coach to be able to understand how to explain better. So please leave those. Also, so some of the people might not have seen or heard in the very beginning the whole reason why this got pushed back was because we didn't have access to get inside our studio and film at 10. So we don't have to go through that story, but I think roadblocks and barriers and yeah. things that don't go your way, especially this day and age, like with everything going on in the world, yes. it's so like being able to start a routine is key in like, you know, getting moving. So how do you navigate when things come up and how do like, what would you give as far as like advice to sort of rolling with the punches? Yeah. This is great. Um, one, just make adjustments. I think Mike and I were both sitting in the car this morning because we were locked out of the building. We we're both sitting in the car. Like we were supposed to do our live at 10 AM. This is not going to happen. And then Mike said to me, there's nothing we can do. We cannot change the lock on the, it had been vandalized. We couldn't get in. We're like, we can't change that. So let's just change our attitude, make some adjustments, have one moment of being frustrated and like a little worried that people are going to be let down. We can have that moment because you're allowed to have your feelings and your emotions. But then let's just work through it. Let's troubleshoot. Our team behind the scenes was so awesome. We changed the timing. We allowed the guy to come in. We're back in. We're up and rolling. But I think it's just adjustments. We're rolling with the punches. If we got in here and it didn't work, like we would be doing something different. But we're grateful that everybody showed up and that you are here to move up, uh, to move with us. And I think the moral of the story today is just make adjustments if you can. 
One thing I will always say, allow yourself to have that emotion though. Cause I think it's really frustrating when things like that happen that are disappointing or frustrating. And then you're not supposed to have that emotion. We did have that emotion and then we just troubleshooted and now we're here. Totally. And I think that's like so key with like fitness where Absolutely. you have planned to do your hour workout or your half hour workout yeah. and your kid isn't feeling sick or something happens with work. Like, can you get five minutes of movement in yes. or, you know, or do you need to just call it and you don't get any movement? Work in? And maybe on your that's, breathing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But <laughs> work on your breathing. It's sort of like yeah. you said, make the adjustment, be okay with a plan B because if yeah. you're only okay with that plan A always, and it doesn't happen, then it might be the difference of you not doing it. Well, it's a, it's a setup for failure all the time. I there we go. The thing. Yep. Cool. Love it. Yes. Okay. So um, Sandra said, if we can't do this workout now, will it be available yet or later? Yes. It'll be available on YouTube later. And then eventually in a few days in the library. Yes. So awesome. these will always remain as is on YouTube. And then if you have a just move, uh, membership, they're yeah. also on all the website there. with over 200 other workouts. Awesome. Cool. And we have the Just Move team in there answering questions right now. Right now. Shout out to Nino. Let's get rolling. All right, team. Let's get rolling. Yeah, let's do this. So just make sure that everybody is in here that we have a chair, a nice sturdy chair, because we are going to use it today, test it out, and make sure that it is nice and sturdy. And then we are going to be doing a cardio style workout. So if you want to grab a water bottle real quick, make sure your water is close by. And we're going to get started. Don't forget the timer this time, Mike. I'm trying to stick with that 30 minutes. I just, aesthetically, it's not very pleasing. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that good? <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> my nerve, my nervous stick. <laughs> All right, team. <clears throat> What's up, team? And welcome to today's start workout. We are going to be doing a cardio style workout, which means we're going to be getting our heart rate up. So maybe pause for one second, grab a bottle of water, and then also grab a chair. Please test it out. Make sure that it is nice and sturdy because we are going to use it. We are going to rely on it today. So before we begin and we head into our workout, let's warm our bodies up. Take a nice stance on your mat or on your floor, whatever is comfortable, and just make sure that you can wiggle out those knees. So let's just get present in our body, standing nice and tall. Knees are wiggled, and they're wiggled so that we're not locking them out. So just a little bit of a bend in our knees, and then let's take our hands and place them on our belly. So... First things first, I'm going to say this is going to feel quite odd because we are going to belly breathe, but we are used to normally chest breathing. So just follow along with me. Give this a try today. Think about taking nice big inhales into your belly, blowing your belly up like a balloon. And then as you exhale, pull your belly button in nice and tight. Think about pulling your belly away from your hands. Good team. And again, nice big inhale. And exhale, pull that belly button in tight. Good. Inhale, pushing the hands away with the stomach, blowing that stomach up like a balloon. And exhale, pulling that belly in tight. Good. One more nice big inhale here. And exhale. Awesome, team. All right. Take those hands, place them on your shoulders. We're going to do a little elbow tap. Maybe the elbows tap, maybe they don't, quite all right. What I want you to think about is rounding your back, trying to tap those elbows together in front, and then opening up, eyesight looks up towards the ceiling, getting a nice big stretch in our chest. Beautiful team. And again, rounding, tap elbows together, really exaggerate that rounding of the back, and then opening up, eyesight looks up to the ceiling. Good, and we're breathing. Excellent, team. Rounding forward. Maybe think about exhaling there. And inhale as we open. Good. Two more. Beautiful, team. Last one. Tapping those elbows together or getting them close. And opening. Beautiful. All right, then we're going to work on our hinge. So in this position... Feet are about shoulder width apart. 
what you want to think about is that nice little bend in the knees. And all that means is that your knees are not locked out. All right. It doesn't mean you're actually like squatting down, just a little comfortable bend in the knees. Now take your hands, place them on your hips. In this position, your knees do not bend anymore. We are not squatting, all right? From here, you think about pressing your hips back. There is an imaginary wall behind you. You're trying to touch that wall with your glutes. At the bottom position, my torso is parallel with the mat, and I am feeling quite a big stretch in the backside of my legs. Excellent, team. Then I'm going to stand up nice and tall back to that starting position. Make sure that those knees are not locked out first things first. Hands on the hips, push those hips back as far as you can. Remember, we are not squatting, so my knees did not bend anymore. At the bottom, my torso is parallel to the mat. Excellent, team. Standing back up. Two more here, pushing those hips back. Beautiful. And standing back up, really waking up the backside of our body. Last one, pushing those hips back. And standing back up. Beautiful team. All right. Now grabbing that chair, we are going to take that hinge. And I'm actually going to show you from the side today. We're going to take that hinge and we're going to turn it into a squat. Now, the only difference now is when we turn it into a squat, we actually start to bend our knees. So finding a comfortable stance a little bit wider. So before in our hinge, our feet were about shoulder width, a little bit wider than that. I'm not trying to find perfection here, just whatever is comfortable. So make sure that chair is pretty close behind you because we're actually going to sit to it. First things first, knees have a little bit of a bend. Second thing, think about pushing those hips back. So we're starting that hinge. Now add the knee bend. So you're going to slowly lower yourself down to the chair. Once we get to the chair, relax. Excellent team. Now in order to come up, we're not just going to come straight up. We're going to hinge forward first. Make sure our feet are firmly planted on the floor, and then we're going to push through our heels as we stand up. Excellent, team. And again, first things first, knees are unlocked. Second, start pushing those hips back in the hinge. Third, bend your knees, lower yourself down, and sit on the chair. Excellent. Hinge forward, push through the heels, stand up nice and tall. Two more here. First things first, unlock those knees. Push the hips back. Lower yourself to the chair. Rest for a second. Hinge. Push the heels and stand up. Excellent team. Last one. Maybe a little bit quicker here. We hinge. We lower. We sit to the chair. Beautiful team. Coming forward. Pressing through the heels. Standing up. Excellent team. Good work. Take a little breather. We're going to place that chair at the top of our mat. Heading into our plank position here. So Oh, so sorry. This always happens in this plank position. So sorry, team. Hold on one second. Come out of the plank. I had so many people comment or message to me that they held the plank the whole time in last week's live when we had technical difficulties. So you can come out of the plank or you can challenge yourself right now and hold it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah, just like move the chair do you want me to do a, a few of the squats? Team, you're seeing what happens behind the scenes. We just have to sync up for the actual video recording of this. Do you want me to do another squat? Yeah, just one more squat. Okay. You don't have to do the squat. Okay, you don't have to do the squat, but actually, yes, we're the team right now. We're doing this together. Okay. Thank you, team. Okay, I'm going to do one more squat here. Okay. Beautiful, sitting to the chair, relax one second, hinge forward, push through the heels and stand on up. Excellent team. All right, now we're gonna head into our plank position. So from here, chairs at the top of our mat. First things first, place your hands on the chair, your full hand on the chair. And then from here, make sure that your torso is right over your hands. Take a step back with your left foot. Take a step back with your right foot. Notice in that position when I took those steps back, I didn't shift my body weight back with me, okay? So this is our plank position. From here, we're just going to get a little stretch. So we're going to push our hips back, lowering our heels to the mat, and then slowly thinking about dropping your chest to the floor. You should feel a nice big stretch probably in your back, in your chest. 
maybe in your shoulders. Beautiful team. Even in the backside of your legs here. Good. Now we're going to come forward, coming up onto our toes and then shifting that body weight forward back into our plank position. We're in our plank position when our chest is over our hands. Excellent team. So just pause and hold for one second. Beautiful. And again, push those hips back. I call this our down dog position. You're going to slowly lower those heels to the mat. And then really think about that chest giving, getting heavy, dropping towards the mat, allowing yourself to get a stretch in your shoulders, if it's comfortable, in your back. Beautiful. And one more time, coming up to our toes, coming forward. We are going to hold this plank position. So once you get there, holding it here. Now a trick to turning on your core and this is definitely a core workout in the plank position, is pulling your belly button in tight. So just like we were doing in our belly breathing, as you exhaled, you pulled your belly away from your hands. Try to mimic that movement here. I know it's going to feel odd and it's going to be hard. Maybe you get it. Maybe you don't. Think about pulling that belly button in tight. Beautiful team for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent team. All right. Pushing that chair to the side, <clears throat> we're going to go for a little jog just to get our heart rate up, and then we're going to start our workout. That was our warm-up portion. I know it feels like the workout, but I just want to make sure our body was fully warmed up, and then we'll head into the workout. So starting at the end of your mat, we're going to go high knees. So what you're going to think about is getting those knees up as high as you can. We're not jogging yet. We're marching. So in three, two, one, let's go up our mat, high knees. You're pumping your arms as if you're going for a run. Once you're at the top of your mat, you're going to kick those heels up, still pumping my arms. Beautiful. Trying to, which won't happen, trying to hit your glutes with your heels. And again, high knees, maybe a little bit quicker, getting those knees up a little bit higher. Beautiful. And butt kicks on the way back. Yes, team. Beautiful. And again, a little bit quicker. High knees. Yes. There we go. And butt kicks back. Excellent, team. Maybe add a little bit more pep in your step. Last time through, high knees. There we go. Beautiful team and butt kicks back. Excellent. There we are. And relax. All right, team, grab water, take a breather. We're going to go into our first move. So today's workout is three moves that we're just going to keep building on. So first things first always listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, if you are in pain, that is your body's way of saying this is not working. So make adjustments. When we come back around and we're going to make it a little bit more difficult, if it doesn't feel good for you, do not do that. Stick with the option that feels good in your body. All right, team. So chairs off to the side, grab a quick sip of water. If you want, I'm going to show you our first move. So in our hinge position, we remember that we're sending those hips back. We're going to work on that, but we're going to make it a little bit more fun by adding these star open arms, all right? So it looks like this. Feet are shoulder width apart. I hinge and come down. Hands touch my knees. I come up quick and open my arms as big as I can. Coming on down and up quick. All right, team? So let's come to the center of our mat. Find your feet shoulder width apart. In three, two, one. Coming down. Hinge means hips go back. Come up. Arms open, hips go back, arms open. Beautiful team in and out of this. Good, doesn't have to be fast yet. That's it. Can you push the hips back just a little bit more? Remember in that hinge, the knees don't really bend. We're not squatting down. We're thinking about pushing those hips back to the wall behind us, coming up nice and tall. Arms are opening wide, excellent team. Stay with me. We've got about 10 more seconds left. Can you think about coming up just a little bit quicker? Up quick, down controlled. Excellent, team. In five. Beautiful. Two, one, and relax. Yes, team. All right. Grabbing that chair in this position. Believe it or not, we are going to do a burpee. I know. I know you can't believe it. Stay with me. I'm going to walk you through this. We are doing a burpee today, team. So, and it's going to end up being one of your favorite moves. People always like to hate on the burpees. I love them. So we're going to learn how to do this here today. First things first, finding our plank position. So hands are on the chair. 
Step your left foot back, step your right foot back. We're in our plank position here. Everyone is with me. All right, team, in three, two, one. Step your left foot forward. Step your right foot forward. Stand up nice and tall. Hands come to the ceiling. Squat back down, hands to the chair. Left foot back, right foot back. Pause for a second. First burpee down, team. And again, left foot forward. Right foot forward, stand up tall. Excellent team, hands back to the chair. Left foot back, right foot back, and continue. Going at your own pace here, standing up nice and tall, coming back down into that squat position, hands onto the chair, step the feet back. Excellent team. As you're going through this, you can alternate what foot comes forward first, what foot goes back first, Whatever feels good to you. Excellent, team. Staying with me. We've got a few more here. Reaching up nice and tall. Heart rate is definitely picking up here. Stay breathing. Excellent, team. All right, wherever you're at, we're going to go one more burpee. There we go. Finish and meet me in that plank position. Holding it here, team. I know. Hard to hold it when we're trying to catch our breath. Hold it here for five. Shaking is okay. Four, three, two, one. Step your feet forward and relax. Yes, team. All right, taking that chair, tossing it off to the side. Next fun move we are doing is rope slams. If you have ever seen a fitness workout video or maybe you've been in the gym or you've seen pictures, rope slams are when we have these huge, crazy, heavy ropes and we are just slamming the heck out of them. So today, we obviously don't have ropes. Let's use our imagination. I wanna get us set up in the appropriate movement first or in the appropriate position first, which means finding your squat stance, feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna go this way. Without the chair there, we're not gonna squat very low, all right? So staying with me, grab on to two heavy ropes, all right? Squat down just a little bit. Those ropes are really, really heavy, team. On the count of three, we're going to come up as tall as we can, and then we are going to slam them down as fast as we can, heading back into that mini squat position. All right, team, meet me at the bottom. Hold on to those tight ropes. In three, two, one, come up and down quick. Pause at the bottom. There we go. In three, two, one, come up and down quick. There we go. Now find your own pace here, coming up tall and down quick. Yes, team. Slam those ropes down. Honestly, sometimes battle ropes, what we call them, can be 10 plus pounds, 20 pounds. So they're nice and heavy ropes. You are slamming them down as hard as you can. Beautiful team. Can we move just a bit quicker? Excellent team. As we come up now, can you come up to your toes a little bit and slam them down? Beautiful. There we go, team. Three more slams. Up quick, down quick. There we go. Up quick. And down, last one, and down. Excellent, team. Grab water, take a breather, catch your breath for one second. We're going to start all the way back at the top. But if you are feeling good and you're feeling like you want to challenge yourself, we're going to make our first initial move just a little bit more difficult. Now, if you are not ready for that, go back to this first position. This is a perfect place to stay. All right, team. If you're ready to advance, what we're going to do as we come up, we star those arms open. We also tap a toe out, get huge back down into that hinge off to the other side. Excellent team. All right. Tossing that water to the side. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. And we're ready. Feet about shoulder width apart. Remember we are hinging. So you're going to push those hips back, not squat down. Meet me in that hinge position. Hands are on our knees. In three, two, one. Come up big. Tap our toe out to the side and back down. Excellent, team. And up. Beautiful. Off to the other side with that toe and back down. Yes, team. Going in and out of this position. Once you feel like you've got this here, feel free to speed it up. Beautiful. Making sure that our form stays on point. We are building a strong foundation here over anything, which means we are really careful to pay attention to our form. Excellent team, beautiful. In and out of this hinge, 
Think about pushing those hips back. Now, as you come up, can you come up a little quicker? Yes, team. Stay breathing. I told you this is a cardio workout. Getting that heart rate up. Just remember to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Yes, team. In five, four, three. Let's get this last one, two, one, and relax. Yes, team. High fives. Take a little breather. Water if you need. And grabbing onto that chair. So definitely we're going to take a little breather here. Nice big inhales. And exhale. Good. You stay breathing. I'm going to show you our next option for our burpee position. So option number one when we were in our plank position was to step your feet forward and reach up. Option number two from this position, we're going to lightly jump our feet forward, landing in our squat, reaching up coming back down and stepping our feet back. And again, from this position, I am lightly jumping forward and coming up into that touch the sky position, all right? If it doesn't feel good, maybe try it out and then you can go back to the stepping position. All right, team, meet me in the plank, hands on the chair, first things first, take a step back with your left foot, back with your right foot and meet me in that plank. All right, team, in three, two, one, step or jump forward, hands up to the ceiling, coming back down, step the feet back one at a time and continue. Remember team, most important thing here is that you are listening to your body. If you test out a few of those jumps and they just don't feel good on your knees or in general, then go back to the stepping. Do not push through pain. Yes, team. We are learning how to connect with our body, how to listen to our body, how to respect our body, and how to take care of our body. When it is talking to us, we listen. Yes, team. Beautiful. And then sometimes our body says, push me a little harder. Good. So if you want right now, you can move a little quicker. Yes, team. Stay breathing. We've got two more here. Nice and light as we land, coming forward. Last one. Excellent. Meet me in that plank. Meet me there, team. I know we're out of breath. Meet me there. Come on, hold this. I know it's almost impossible as you are breathing hard, but think about turning that core on, pulling your belly button in tight for five. Come on, team. Four, three, two, one. Step your feet forward and relax. Give yourself a pat. Give yourself a high five. Toss that chair to the side, <clears throat> grab water. Well-deserved water break right now. So you grab your water, take a breather, really try to catch your breath here. I'm gonna show you our addition to our battle ropes. So when we were doing this position, we were going in and out of our, our rope slams. I'm gonna add another move here. So one of our next moves is to stay low and to alternate those slams. So we're gonna be here. When I say switch, you're gonna go back to your rope slams. Beautiful, big rope slams, two hands together. And then when I say alternate, you're gonna go back to alternating slams, which means you're staying low the whole time, all right? Really thinking about those ropes being nice and heavy. They are heavy ropes. All right, team, remember, if it doesn't feel good to stay low, you can just go in and out of those slams, all right? We're gonna go big slams first, just like we did in that first movement. Meet me at the bottom, find your nice squat stance. Hold on to those heavy ropes. In three, two, one, coming up, slamming them down. Excellent team. You can move quick if that's feeling good to you. We're definitely working on getting our heart rate up here, so find a good speed here. Beautiful team. Good, one more slam, and then stay low. Excellent, alternating here. Big alternating slams. I know it's hard to hold this squat. Come on, team. Good, a few more seconds here. Excellent. And back to our slams. Up tall, slam them down. Good, team. Beautiful. There we go. Good, one more here. Stay low at the bottom and alternate those slams. Yes, team. Come on, getting a little lower in our squat. We're almost done, little faster with our hands. There we go in three, 
one, and relax. Toss that rope to the side. Take a breather. Grab water. Catch your breath. We have one more time through this entire thing. If you're feeling good, we're going to spice up the moves a little bit, mainly just with speed. So tossing that chair, making sure the chair is out of your way. You can catch your breath and grab your water right now while I show you. Well, we know this last move, but we're going to go into our star opens. And if you are feeling good, what I'm going to have you do is add a little bit more of a squat as you come down. So before we were hinging as our hands came to our knee and then coming up nice and tall. If you're feeling good now, you can squat low, get low, coming up tall, squat low, get up tall. Make this movement as big as you can down low, up tall. If at any point in time it doesn't feel good, remember you can always take out that toe tap. So maybe you're just coming down and back up. Last time through this. All right, team, we've got this. If you're feeling good and you want to push yourself here, let's move pretty quickly, get pretty low. All right, meet me in that bottom position. If you're going to add a little bit more of a squat, you can squat down a little bit lower. Good. In three, two, one, coming up tall, foot taps out to the side. Excellent, team. Getting low, getting high. There we go. If you are feeling good, we are moving pretty quick. Last time through this move, team. Excellent. Think about coming up nice and quick. Control that down. Excellent. Keep breathing here. Do not hold your breath. Good work, team. Good. Can we go just a little bit faster? Big arms open at the top. Squatting low as we get down. Yes, team. Come on, sticking with me for 10. 10 seconds, that is. There we go, team. Beautiful. And five. Good. Two, one, and relax. Yes, team. High fives. Grab your water. Grab your chair. We are heading into our burpee. So before we do, if you're sipping your water, go ahead and do so. We're just going to focus on belly breathing, taking some nice big inhales, allowing our heart rate a moment to calm down. So nice big inhales and exhale. Good team. A few more here. Nice big and exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Excellent team. Okay. Last time we were heading through these burpees. First things first, we are doing burpees. That's in and of itself quite amazing. Please go tell somebody today that you did a burpee or that you did probably at the end of this workout about 20 plus burpees. If you're feeling like you want to challenge yourself, we are going to jump forward and back. All right. So here's what this looks like. Once I'm in my burpee position, I'm going to jump forward, landing softly, reaching my hands up tall, coming down, making sure my hands are firmly on, to, on the chair, and I'm going to jump back lightly. Okay. This is a pretty advanced option. If it does not feel good, even if you try it out and it doesn't work, go back to one of the options that did. You can step forward and step back, or you could jump forward and step back, right? Find an option that feels good for you. Last time we are going through these today. All right, team, let's find that plank position. Hand on the chair, both hands on the chair. Taking a step back, excellent, with the left. Now with the right. We are in our plank position. Choose the option you want to go for in three, two, one, and begin. I'm going to jump forward, reaching up tall, hands to the mat. Try the jump back. Did it work? Did it not? Make adjustments accordingly. Excellent, team. And you can also switch it up. Maybe sometimes you jump forward and back. Sometimes you step forward and back. Make this your workout. Excellent, team. Doesn't have to be crazy fast. Making sure that we are trying to be as quiet as we can as we jump forward and back. And honestly, what that means, if you're quiet, it just means that you're controlling the move, which means that you are being gentle on your joints. Excellent, team. Beautiful work. Last time we we're doing this today. If you are feeling good and you have a little energy left in the tank, can you go just a little bit quicker? Yes, team. Not too quick that we forget to keep our form as the top priority, though. Excellent, team. Stay with me. Two more here. Come on. You got this. 
Whatever variation you're doing, last one. Meet me in that plank and hold. So hard. Hold this team. I know it's hard. You can't breathe. You're trying to catch your breath. And now I'm making you hold a plank. Come on, team. We got to train that core. Thinking about holding that plank, pulling that belly button in tight for five, four, three, two, one. Step your feet forward and relax. Yes, team. We just need to pause for one second. For a lot of you, that was probably the first time you've ever done a burpee. And so many people think it's not possible to do a burpee. It is possible. It is possible to do everything you want to do if we just find the And this is what this is all about. So I just wanted you to take a moment to be proud of that because that's awesome. That's a burpee. Do anything you want from here. All right, team. So we're going back to our battle ropes. Same exact thing. I'm just going to have us move a lot quicker. All right. So I'm going to keep saying switch. You can switch if you want. You can ignore me if you want. Whatever you want. Remember, our battle ropes are two hands. And if you want to come up to your toes, you can come up to your toes. Move pretty quick. And then when I say switch, you stay low and you do alternating slams. Okay. Think those battle ropes are heavy. All right. Big old slams. Okay, team. Last thing. And then we're cooling down. You got this. Meet me in your squat position. We're going to go two hands coming up to start, and then I'm just going to keep saying switch. If you get confused, just go to one. It doesn't matter if we're doing the same thing. All right, team, come in low. In three, two, one. Up tall, down fast. Good. Battle ropes are heavy. Slam those things down. Beautiful, team. When you come up tall, maybe you can come up to your toes a little bit. Excellent, team. Two more slams. Good. Last one. Meet me at the bottom. Stay low and alternate. Come on, team. Stay breathing here. We are cooling down after this. Hardest part of our workout is right now. Beautiful. In three, two, one. Back, coming up tall. Two hands, down quick. Up tall, down quick. Beautiful, team. Take this at your own pace, but do not stop moving. Try to stay with us here. Yes, team. Beautiful. One more, and then stay low. Stay low with me. Come on, alternating those slams. Getting low, team. There we go. Stay in here for 10 seconds. Can you slam a little quicker? There we go. In five. Yes. Three, two, one. Throw those ropes to the side. Grab water. Take a breather. Feel that heart rate. Good work, team. Grab a water. Grab a little sip of water. Take a breather. And then bring your chair back for a little cool down. I'm actually going to go this way so y'all can see me. Holy smokes, team. Great work today. So we're just going to allow that heart rate to come down a little bit. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, we're going to sit to our chair so we can just stretch out a little bit. So hinging at the hips, make your way down into that seated position. Beautiful team. Coming to the edge of our chair, sitting up nice and tall, taking those hands, placing them on our shoulders, reaching up and over as far as you can, getting a nice big stretch on the side of our torso beautiful and bringing it back beautiful team off to the other side <sighs> great work today and back to center hand again reaching up and over can you get a little bit further there we go and back good team keep going here side to side and back to center one more time each side <sighs> excellent and last time up and over Beautiful. All right. Shaking those arms out. Take your left hand, place it on the inside of that left knee. Right hand is out in front. Palm faces up. We're going to do a little rotation here. So you're going to press that left knee out and then you're going to rotate that arm open. Eyesight follows. As I rotate around, I get a nice big stretch in my back, still actively pressing that left knee out and then coming back to the center position. And again, really rotating around, breathing, and back to center. Good. One more here. Excellent, team. This should feel good. Rotating around, getting a nice little spine twist, and back to center. Beautiful. Shaking it all out. Sitting up nice and tall. Take that right hand. Press that right knee out. Left hand is out in front. Palm faces up rotating around. So I'm rotating around and actively pressing that right knee out. 
You may notice one side is a little bit more difficult than the other. That is very normal and quite all right. Breathe, team. Excellent. Last one here. And relax. Okay. Stay seated. We are going to do a little bit of belly breathing here, and then we are done. So same thing that we were doing when we started this workout, except for now we are in a seated position. So making sure that you're at the end of your chair, you're sitting up nice and tall, feet are firmly planted. From here, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. If that's not comfortable, you can totally keep them open, placing your hands on your belly. So we're going to think about, I know this is odd team, we're going to think about taking nice big inhales into our belly and trying to blow that belly up like a balloon and begin. Nice big inhale and exhale. And again, nice big inhale and exhale. Inhale into our belly. Exhale, pull that belly button away from the hands. Beautiful. And again, inhale and exhale. A few more here, team, at your own pace. And relax, opening up our eyes. We are back and we are officially done. Team, excellent work today. Again, please go tell your friends, your neighbor, your family. We did probably about 20 burpees today. You did them. So definitely go share that exciting news. Thank you so much for joining me here. And I hope to see you back on the mat very soon. Good. Good work. Oh my gosh. That was really fun. <laughs> that was my version of fun team. You were How breathing. are we feeling? Hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh. Diane, welcome back. She loved the burpees. Oh, she loves the burpees. Oh God. Oh. Diane, I have lots of stories. I don't think I don't think you love the burpees in the very beginning. But that makes me so happy that you are enjoying them now. Samantha's team. birthday. Oh my gosh! Can we sing happy birthday? Happy birthday! <laughs> you do not want me to sing happy birthday to you. Um, happy birthday. That means you are an Aquarius like me, which I love. Dad! Rockin'. Great work! I'm also just surprised my dad, <laughs> dad, not to call you out. I'm so surprised you know how to like be in the chat on this YouTube. I don't even know how to handle that. I'm about to start dropping some Taylor! emojis. Team, this is so fun. And I feel like this is like, this is the crew. Okay, so team, just a little friendly reminder. It is so, so, so helpful to leave comments. We read them all. We go through them all. Let us know what you think. I also don't know, because we didn't say it before, are we going to have people try to name that one? Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, my gosh. So maybe even it doesn't have to be on the spot right now. If you have a fun name for that one, leave it here because we take the name and that's what the workout is called when it goes into the library. So yeah, if anybody has any ideas, something tells me it might involve burpees in the name. Yeah, you know? burpee buildup, like yeah, something fun. Yeah. 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 Um, team, thank oh, dad. dad <laughs> this nice. is so fun. <laughs> okay. We are officially done with our cardio style workout. I am so proud of you all. Please make sure that you hydrate today, that you go fuel your body, that you sleep tonight. Pay attention to how things feel. Remember, if you wake up tomorrow and you're a little stiff and, stiff and sore and you want to maybe mobilize, head into the Just Move Library. There are so many incredible mobility workouts and so much more. Um, this was a start level workout. So if you're in the just move library, we have a really easy way to filter things. Go to the start level. If you enjoyed this and just search probably mobility tomorrow, if you're stiff and sore and you want to do that, Cheryl, this is so awesome. Thank you for joining us. Cheryl is another one of my clients back in the day. And I know it's like I'm freaking out, but y'all really don't understand. These handful of women are the reason I am who I am today as a trainer. You have no idea. I'm not going to cry, Cheryl. 
But these, I am actually tripping because these women mean so much to me. They are literally the reason I'm a trainer today and I am so grateful. So Cheryl, I love that you are here. That is such an honor. Diane, I am so grateful. And team, to all the new members of the team, you are also the reason I'm here today. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, we just, are going to be back yes, next week. Next week. Every Wednesday, we're going to be back. I think we're going to be back at 10 a.m. next week. We're going to yeah. try. <laughs> if anybody has, you know, any anything to weigh in there, 10 or 11 Pacific Standard Oh, you want to start a date? I mean, start a um, <laughs> see what they debate? Say. Also, just real quick, just because, you know, each week is different people. But, like, so these are weekly start workouts. Talk a little bit about Start Moving, which is yes. sort of a whole, yes. whole program. Awesome. Yes. So these are start level workouts, which means they're the level that I developed because I felt like beginner level workouts in the fitness industry weren't truly beginner. I didn't feel like they started at the right, right foundation and I didn't think that they built people up the right way. Um, so I developed a start moving program. It is actually a 30 day month long program. We work out three times a week. We start with two weeks of foundation building and our very first workout actually happens in a chair. We don't even stand up from the chair in that entire first workout. So the, in, the goal of it was really to start at the very, very foundation. I feel like, and all of my incredible women, I think this is where I really learned. If I can bring things down to a very foundational level and keep things simple, it helps people to understand their body in a way that builds a really strong foundation and lets people go do whatever they want to do. And incredible stories, all of these women that are coming in here came in at a level where I think most of them would tell you they didn't think that in several months and years and whatever, they'd be doing all of the amazing things that they were doing. Like Diane lifting, I don't even know, crazy heavy weights, but it's because you take the time to build a strong foundation. And it's because we've taken the time to build programs that really meet people where they're at. So the Start Moving program is that 30-day program. And then what happened was, because people like the Start Moving program, I just started creating more of them. So we have tons of start level workouts in the Just Move library. We are doing our lives on a weekly basis, which is gonna be start level. Um, it is an incredible way to come in, to move, to connect with community. If you did this workout today and you felt like it wasn't the quite the right level for you, go into the Just Move library and do the Start Moving program. It will build you up. It creates such a strong foundation. You'll be back here doing these live classes with us in no time. Um, but no matter who you are, no matter where you're at in your movement journey, even if you have never begun or you are in pain, we've got something for you. And if I don't have something for you, I want to create it. So please just reach out and let me know. Oh, gosh. Can we? Yeah. Why not? We might spill the beans and the team might get mad at us later. Okay. I'm just going to say my birthday's on Saturday. And for my birthday, I wanted us all to move together. And so we've done a little convincing and we're opening the entire Just Move library up for one full week for free. Every single thing in the Just Move library is free. So if you are not a part of the Just Move team, you need to mark your calendars. This Saturday, it is all opening up. You can surf through the Just Move library. You can check everything out. You can see what we have to offer. You can test it out and you can hopefully fall in love with it and you can come join the team. And tell your friends tell your the friends. 29th through the, uh, through the 5th. 5th. So it's a whole week of yes. free movements. Try everything yes. you want. And hit us up. If you have questions, yeah. like I am in my DMs, especially on Instagram. If you have questions about what to do, what to try, you don't know what level you're at, you don't know where to begin, definitely hit us up. It is filtered on the website, but if you have any issues with that, please reach out. For sure. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I think that's it. I think we yes. did it. You did it. Okay, team. Great work today. Thank you so much for being patient as we rolled with the punches. Please mark your calendars. One, for this Saturday, three week starts, but also for next Wednesday, we'll see you in our live workout next Wednesday. Peace. Happy Wednesday, team. Great work today. This is so fun. And it's 17, that's my favorite number. <laughs> <laughs>